Hi, Blockchain Visionaries. I'm George Levy. In this video, I'm going to talk about a very, very common question that I receive all the time. Why is it that there are so many zeros in a Bitcoin block hash? People ask themselves that. So why is it that whenever you look at the block hash for a Bitcoin block, it has so many leading zeros? And specifying this, they are zeros at the beginning of the hash. That's a very, very big thing. And I want to tell you in this video exactly why that is. The fact is that this that you see here is what's known as proof of work. This is how a miner that actually creates a new block on the Bitcoin blockchain proves that they actually created a valid block. What they do is that they create hashes, that is cryptographic hashes, to be exact, SHA-256 cryptographic hashes of the contents of the block header. And they do that over and over and over again until they can eventually reach a cryptographic hash that starts with a required number of leading zeros. To be exact, it actually has to be below a certain target. But for easy terms, when people talk about it, they talk about how many leading zeros are there into a specific block hash. But to explain further to you, let me show you exactly what cryptographic hashes are and actually go through an example of it so you understand what I'm talking about. To do that, I'm actually going to be going to a platform found at demoblockchain.org. This is an open source uh, platform that's available for you. If you actually want to play along, please go to demoblockchain.org and see it. So for starters, the first thing I want to tell you is what a cryptographic hash is. And for the purposes of this video, I'm actually going to drill down on SHA-256, which is the type of cryptographic hash that's used whenever you're creating a Bitcoin block hash. So for this purposes, I'm using a SHA-256 hash generator. And what a SHA-256 hash is, is a message digest or a digital fingerprint for a certain amount of data. Let me explain to you what I mean by that. So what you see here is a cryptographic hash generator, SHA-256, and right now it is blank. So what you see here is a cryptographic hash for nothing. It's blank. But if I do anything and I type in anything in here, you will see that the cryptographic hash field changes. Why? Because I just created a digital fingerprint for this specific character that I typed in. Let's take it out. You'll see it went back to exactly what we had from before. But let's change again. Let's just type in a word. How about dog? Well, if you see dog, you find that dog has a different cryptographic hash. As a matter of fact, it actually starts with one zero. It doesn't have a bunch of zeros. It's actually just one zero. Okay, well, let's change this again. If I type in something completely different, say for example, cat. Well, let's go with cat you'll find that I have a different cryptographic hash and I can go on and on and do this so cat is crazy but let's say that I remove cat is crazy and I go back to dog you'll find that I have exactly the same cryptographic hash that I had before why because this is a digital fingerprint for this text dog with a capital D to be exact in fact if I type in dog with a lowercase d I have a completely different cryptographic hash but now I'm going to tell you how this all ties in together by showing you how cryptographic hashes are used in blockchain. So if I go to a block, I actually have a block. That block has a block number. That block actually has a field for data and it has a cryptographic hash. Notice that for this example, it has four leading zeros. That is, the contents of this block that I have here actually have a cryptographic hash associated with it that has four zeros to start with. Now here's what's interesting. If I go ahead and I change the contents here, I type in dog, well, you find that the contents changed. And as a result, that cryptographic hash changed as well. So let's go back to where we were before. And what we find is that the contents that we had, we were able to create a hash that had four leading zeros. Why is this so important? Well, right now I'm using a demo platform and I'm going to show you how all these cryptographic hashes work together by actually going to showing you a blockchain. So what you have here is a demo blockchain and a chain of blocks that is a blockchain is composed of blocks that are linked together and each of these blocks actually has a cryptographic hash associated to it. So what you find here is that you have a cryptographic hash for this block, you have a cryptographic hash for this block, you have a cryptographic hash for this one and so on and so forth. Okay, so here's what's interesting. If you'll notice all of these blocks actually have a cryptographic hash that begins with four leading zeros. This is important because for the purposes of the demo, this specific blockchain requires there to be at least four leading zeros for a block to be valid. And what happens if I actually change something in this block? Say, for instance, I type in dog. Well, that changes the contents of this block. 
And as a result, that hash is no longer the same hash we had before. So it doesn't have four leading zeros. But in the process, you break all the other blocks. So this is the key thing about blockchain technology, is that to be able to get a block that actually has four leading zeros, you need to have exactly the data that's required in this block. But if I change it, well, it's no longer valid. But how can I fix that? Well, what I can do is I can do use what's known as a nonce, which is a number used once, which changes the contents of that block. So let me go ahead and I'm going to change that nonce. And the only way that I can do that is by actually doing random checks to see what works. So I can try the number one. Well, that doesn't work. You see, I still have a hash that doesn't start with four leading zeros. Well, let's try a number two. Well, that didn't work either. Well, let's try a number three. And I can go on and on and on. Let me try four. Let me try five. It's a very manual, labor-intensive process. Or I can just let the computer do it for me by just guessing again and again and again and again. And I'm going to let her do it automatically. So it's not going to go, 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 go. Ooh, it took these number of tries to get a nonce that actually gave me a hash that had four leading zeros. But wait a minute. I still have a broken block in front of that and a broken block in front of that. So I have to mine each one of these blocks to do that. Now, this is what miners constantly do all the time. When they are creating a new block of transactions, what they wind up doing is they'll create a new block, and this block will have their transactions, say transaction one, then you have transaction two, you have all the transactions they put in. But they don't have a valid block until they can actually create a cryptographic hash that is below a required target. For the purposes of this demo blockchain, you need a, a hash that's below a level of four leading zeros. That is, it has to be below that number. And the only way that that miner will be able to create that block is if they just try again and again and again. And that's what miners do. They do billions and billions of times trying different nonces in a matter of seconds, again and again and again and again and again, until they can find a hash that's below the required target. So let's do this right now. Let's just see what comes up. So it's going to just technically try again and again and again until it can find a hash. Now mind you, notice in this specific demo blockchain, you only need four leading zeros. So it's going to still take me a long time while the computer checks again and again and again. But remember, this is a race. Miners are competing against miners all over the world. But think about it. Think how hard it was for us to be able to find a block hash that had four leading zeros. So it does take time. Now, when you go to an actual block explorer, you will find that it's not four leading zeros. We're talking 18, 20 leading zeros as of this time. And that's because a difficulty level goes up because there are more and more miners competing all around the world trying to find a specific hash for their own block that they're creating to add to the Bitcoin blockchain. And that is the reason why you have so many leading zeros whenever you look at a block hash on the Bitcoin blockchain. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something in the process. I bring you brand new videos every single week, so make sure to subscribe to this channel. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I would love to hear from you. Until next time, I'm George Levy. We're changing the world one blockchain at a time. See you next time.